Well, I see a whole lot of standards in our future because all of the remaining vehicles we have to be on are either a standard cart or a standard bike. So, yay. Uh, first up, I guess we'll play as Bowser, my man. And we're going to be in the standard cart large. Uh, just taking a look at this. Uh, okay. It's, yeah, average stats in pretty much every word category, and it's quite heavy. All right, today it looks like we're on the Spin Drill Cup. And we've got Rock Rock Ridge, which is going to be Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. Christmas Court, Mansion of Madness, and Big Nature City. Okay. This could be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I've played on the Christmas Court before. So here we go. Starting things off with the Drill Cup. Yep, yep, that's Rock Rock Mountain. Why did you change the name? It doesn't make sense to me. Just say 3DS Rock Rock Mountain. Oh, but 3DS came out after the Wii. Yeah, but CTGP came out after the 3DS. <laughs> so it's okay. All right. All right, we're already at a sharp decline. Here we go. Wow. This car's bigger than I remember. Move it, baby Daisy. Is it moving, Yoshi? Wow, everybody took every power up. Move it. Bowser, King of the Koopas coming through. I don't care if you are Bowser Jr. Oh, wow. Okay, that's that's tricky to get through without a glider. Gotta make sure you don't fall off road. Oh, they removed the power ups. Alright, thus far, this cart seems to be pretty solid at this course. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon! Okay, be careful drifting and then tricking off of ramps. We know that now. Watch out for the boulders. Make sure we hit all of those boost panels. Hey, Koopa! Oh, I see you're in the standard cart as well. And yet, somehow, you're going faster than me. Well, imagine that. Okay. I don't know who it was who destroyed my red shell for me. Sorry, Junior! Daddy's gotta win the race! <laughs> oh, hi, Diddy! Hi, Diddy Calm. No! Why is it it always seems like I get shrunk when I'm going over a jump? It just seems like that happens more often than it doesn't. Take that, Wario. Ow! What the heck? Out of my way, for goodness sakes. This old cart ain't got no brakes! <laughs> Imagine using the brakes in Mario Kart. Outside of 200cc, of course. Hey, let's try to take a jump. Yep, that wasn't worth it. Are you kidding? Who throws a red shell backwards? The only time you would, should ever throw a red shell backwards is if you are in first place with a red shell. Look, I sh at least I shrunk before we reached the giant ramp this time. Did he call out of my way? Yes. Take that, Toad. Are you kidding me? Game does not want me to win today. A little bit Diddy Kong. Bowser King of the Koopas. La oh, Bowser burned his butt. Oh, Bowser burned his butt. Yes, cool. The mushroom at the end did help. All right, well that was a roller coaster of a level. I think Rock Rock Mountain is fun, but. It's not anything, like, amazing. But I enjoyed playing that. All right, next up is going to be Christmas Court, and I... Yeah, I remember this one. This is fun. It's another it's another ice-themed level, but it's okay. It's, it's Christmas-themed, so... I do love me some Christmas. One of the best holidays of the whole year. And one of the only holidays of the year. Because we live in a society that loves celebrating fake holidays that aren't actually real. 
Well, they're like, oh, let's try to make every day. Oh, it's National Donut Day. It's like, no, it's not. Oh, well, it's it's a Kwanzaa. No, it's not. Oh, it's June. It's a whole month from... No, it's not. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that's, that was unfortunate. Fell into the drink. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go in the drink. No! I tried to do a hop over the crack. It did not work. Oh, hey! This is nice. I also like how we're using the Frappy Snowland Sherbet Land music. Although, I guess there's not a whole lot of other options. Or, well, they could have done DK Summit, but DK Summit would not have the Christmas theme. Oh, shoot! I almost didn't make it over that. I know I've played on the track before, but it's like I'm playing it for the first time. Because I'm bad. <laughs> Here we go! Oh, I had a mushroom. I could have gone the other way. Oh well. I like this course. I think we could have done a little bit better implementing the Christmassy theme. More red and green. More crucifixes. But you know, this is fine as well. Look at Peach. Ooh, I have a mushroom. Cool. I'll try to save... I'm going to regret saving this because I'm definitely going to get shrunk. Oh, ho. Ha ha! Oh, shoot. No. No. Oh, doggone it. I forgot you can jump over that. I'm like, how come he's also making a beeline there? But he didn't... It's because he was going fast enough. Ooh, that's not a good spot to get hit. Okay, so I'm behind on this race, but the reason I'm behind on this race is because I'm racing badly. Not because I'm getting screwed over with the luck. Darn it, I wanted the mushroom so I could get... Okay, whatever. Ooh, let's try... Aha, 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 aha! I love the amount of shortcuts on this level. See, Mario Kart generally kind of falls off when it comes to the shortcuts. Not here. Um, I'm not gonna ri- Yep, it's a good thing I didn't risk going over that, uh, that ramp there. Because that would not have ended well. Oh my gosh! Wait, do I have a- I have a- How did I get this massive breakaway? How did Diddy Kong get so far behind? I have not been racing that well on this course. I took like one shortcut and that was it. North Pole, here we come! It's gonna be a very Bowser Christmas today. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know how we've gotten first twice, but there we go. That's Christmas Court, that's a fun one. I love it. Lots of cool different ways to go. Kind of like the Jinyu Village from last video. Really fun. All right, next up we've got the Mansion of Man. Oh, no. I think I've played this one as well. Oh, yeah, I've played this one. My sister picked it because she really likes it, but this course is completely bonkers. Also, yes, Creepy Clown Head. It wouldn't be a racing game without a Creepy Clown Head. Just ask Pac-Man World Rally. All right, here we go. So, I mean, like, the setting for this course is pretty cool, but also it's, like, impossible to tell which way you're supposed to go at times. Also, the entire course is a, a giant trip. Alright, we got spikes on the wall. Spikes on the wall. Looking like a fool with those spikes on the wall. And now there's ice for literally no reason. Now we've got an ice ramp. It feels like it would more belong in Mario Kart 8, but alright, we'll take it. Also, only two laps on this course, because it is a big boy. Alright, we've got bullet bills coming this way. Jabers! What in the world? Yeah, this course is completely bonkers. Oh, 
Also, I think it's playing the Chain Shop Wheel music. Oh, this part's weird, because we have to go on the wall, and it randomly boosts us constantly throughout this area. Like, what's going on here? This is very weird. I did not sign a waiver for this. This course is completely bananas. And I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan. Oh, this part at the end is super annoying. It's just like, better hope the thwomps aren't taking up the entire raceway, otherwise you're screwed. Also, do not jump over that ramp. If you do, I am pretty sure it's just like you fell off. Just like people in internet arguments. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> well, we've got a big breakaway. Oh, and now all of a sudden the ice is uh, broken. Taking one, taking a model after Grumble Volcano, I see. Hi, Blue Shell. Was wondering when you would show up. Wee -hee! This is so much fun. Like, I don't know what to make of, like, this course doesn't really have a theme. Let's make the theme, it's weird. Like, it's not even supposed to be like a murder mystery mansion, because I don't know of any murder mystery mansions that have like, volcano. What the heck hit me? I was way past the fire bar. Like, I don't know of any mansions that have like, random psychedelic colored blocks like this. Just, just saying. Oh my gosh, I just lapped a CPU. This track is so ridiculous! Guys, you know how I mock people for using the brake button in Mario Kart? Well, I just used the brake button there to avoid falling off, so... Guess I ate my words! Okay, yikes. Okay. I enjoyed that course more than I did the first time I played it. Still not great though, like, again, I don't know what this course is supposed to be, it's basically like, let's put a variety of dreams and nightmares I had that are completely unrelated and put them in a Mario Kart course, and it's like, um, okay. It's a little weird, but, I mean, alright then. It's not like a terrible course, but it's definitely not my style, of course. And there you have it! Moving on, we're on Big Nature City. First, we had Little Nature City, now Big Nature. Why is Funky Kong doing the sexy pose there? What? Why is Big Nature City going into cyberspace? This is just like revamped Test Track, and I don't like it. Alright then. Bowser here. What? What is this? Another two-lapper. That is one giant mini-map, and wow, okay. The door opens up, and we helicopter jump out of here. That's the finish line. All right, all right. I mean, I like it so far. We're driving through a nice little park. Some houses. Piantas are cheering us on. Uh, ha ha, yeah. Okay, this is dirt path. That's okay. There are lots of dirt paths out here in the boonies. Don't be off-road. Thank you. This is two completely different ways you can go. I'm going what I believe is the fast way, judging by the mini-map. Everybody else is taking the fast way as well. That, don't go that way, because that's going to lead you back to the opposite direction you want to go. we got some Peach Garden stuff going on. It's pretty cool. We're now going on a road. I'm only really able to tell where to go because I'm looking at the mini-map. <laughs> now we've got trap. Okay, so we were in the big nature part. Now we're in the city part. Interesting. We got, all right. People are driving on the wrong side of the road. Because as we all know, Mario Kart's a game that was created in America, right? Oh, now we're back to big nature. Hooray. Uh, okay. That's supposed to be a mushroom shortcut. What is, why are we, what happened to big nature? 
I want big nature. Wow, apparently it's nighttime now. What the heck was that? <laughs> you can't just put that in. Now it's nighttime. Oh, is that why we go indoors? Is that why we go into cyberspace? So that way they can be like, all right, now it's nighttime. I guess that's kind of cool, but I feel like there's another way to do it. Like you could have just a gradual transition, like in Donkey Kong Country, which was made like three consoles before this. So you definitely have the power to do it. Oh, now there's a ramp. Hi, Piantas. Are you enjoying big nature? Ow. Oh, come on. I probably should go the shortcut way, but I want to explore the other path. Woohoo! Oh, there's a lot of... Okay, so there is a lot of boost panels here, so maybe it's not going to be as much of a long cut as I thought. No, it was still a long cut. And who threw a green shell into the shortcut? Oh, wow, that was a big long cut. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Don't hurt me. Just an innocent little king of the Koopas. Oh, yes. Sorry, Yoshi. That's what you get for working with Mario. Oh, Peach, that was just all you. Oh, now we're going this way. Oh, wait, we always were going this way. Never mind. I'm dumb. Bowser wants to win. Bowser wants to win. Go back into cyberspace. Let's try taking this way. Oh my gosh. I can't see where we're going. Because cyberspace. Move it, Peach. I'm going to be the winner of this race. I Nobody loves big nature more than Bowser. All right, yay, Bowser wins Big Nature City, cool. Okay, that was a pretty fun track. There were a couple of parts where it was pretty unclear where to go if you weren't staring at the mini-map the whole time. I also still cannot get behind the whole we're gonna enter cyberspace just so we can transition to night. I think it's cool that you did transition to night. I would prefer a more gradual version. But hey, maybe you didn't know how to do that, and I, I get it, so I will still give that one a thumbs up. That, that was still a very fun course. And hey, I'm gonna remember the name Big Nature City for a while, I think. Rank C? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, actually, no, that kind of makes sense. I didn't race as cleanly as I could have, and I did fall off a couple times. All right, now to be honest, I actually can't remember if I've been on this yet or not, but it's time for my man Dry Bones, because I believe the only small vehicle we have not been on at this point is the standard bike small. Actually, I can't remember if we've been on the Tiny Titan either. I thought I was on the Tiny Titan really early on, but actually, now that I think about it, maybe I haven't been. Well, I'm pretty sure we have not been on the standard bike small. We've got good handling and drift. Just a little wait. All right, here we go. Let's try it out. Now we're on the Starbits Cup. We've got Norman Heights, Daisy's Palace. Daisy doesn't deserve a palace, even though she's a princess. Alpine Peak and Celestial Ruins. Four new courses. Let's give it a go. This is going to be interesting. So, let's see how this is going to start, shall we? Northern Heights. This could be a lot of things. Looks like it's going to be a snow palace. Kind of like Fendrana Drifts from Metroid Prime. Cool. I can get behind this. Looks like a pretty nice course. I'm excited. Let's take her for a spin, Charlie. There's the DK Summit music. Oh, speaking of DK. Hi, DK. Oh, DK Cannon. Cool. Hey, Donkey Kong. Oh, shoot! I didn't realize that we were having a sudden 90 degree turn. I was too busy trying to run DK off the road. Oh, my gosh. 
All right, this is a cool theme level. I, I, I dig it. Um, that is, that turn is real hard to see. It's very narrow, and you can't really tell which way you're going until you hit the wall, and if you try to go early, then you, uh, you lose. Ouch. I don't believe I'm saying this, but I was doing better in the carts. Alright, well, we could be in a worse place. Oh boy, triple mushrooms at the same part. Yay! I bet I could use mushrooms to boost over these gaps. Not going to, though. Oh, please be nice to me, Bullet Bill. Oh, wow, when I fell off, it brought me real far forwards. That was nice of Platinum, too. Yeah, that is a that's a narrow road. You gotta you gotta drift at just the right time to get through that. All right, well now that we're in the lead, and now that we're familiar with the course, we probably should be a relatively easy path to victory, especially since we can wheelie. Although maybe not. If the AI just gets magic speed boosts because it's the AI, that might be, that might make things a little tricky. Thus far, though, I really like the course. There's that. The one turn is kind of unfair, but hey, that, that's a minor nitpick, all right? Part of me wonders if I could go through that orb of light in here, but I don't want to sacrifice my lead to figure that out. There's a wildcat on the walls of the palace. I mean, it's, it's no substitute for Wolfie from the Wolf uh, Castle Grounds, but hey. You did put some effort into decorating the place, and I appreciate it. All right, yeah, this is this actually. Once you kind of know the track, it plays really well. Wait, did I just take the really tough turn without even realizing it? Apparently, I did. Wow, that was a good breakaway. Very fun course. Really like the graphics on that one, and I like the uh, the palace part that you blast to from the DK cannon. That was really good. Great start to the Starbit Cup. I'm excited for more. And Dry Bones is gonna be my faithful companion. <laughs> I don't know what accent that was supposed to be. Don't question it. Daisy's Palace. I guess Daisy is the princess of the Burabatu Kingdom. And she's got a random collection of me's on the wall. Okay. This is weird. This also does not look like the Burabatu Kingdom. At all. But... I'm keeping an open mind. You know, this one could be pretty cool, actually. Oh, you're playing the Maple Treeway music and not the Daisy uh, Circuit music. <laughs> or N64 Bowser's Castle for Daisy's Castle. Oh! <laughs> I think that would have fit Daisy's palace really well, actually. Alright, spiral staircase, judging from the mini map. I can barely make this drift. And I'm in a vehicle with pretty decent turning. Okay, I see that on the minimap. It's going to be a sharp 90 degree turn. I like the Daisy themed power up blocks. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got a big U turn coming up. Ah ha ha, the red shell missed. Uh oh. I see a shortcut potential there if you have a mushroom. Maybe. Okay, okay, this course is pretty fun. There are some very tight turns to make, but it's very, it looks very nice, and it plays pretty nice as well. A lot of time and attention was put into this, and I, I appreciate that. Okay, that door is suspicious. Can we, like, boost through that, maybe? Oh, I bet you we can boost through that. I feel like there's a bunch of courses from these two cups that I want to open up in time trials mode, just explore around a bit, see if we can find shortcuts. That is honestly one of my favorite parts about Mario Kart. <laughs> when I get a new Mario Kart game for the first time, I like going through time trials and just kind of poking around the courses to see if I can pick up any shortcuts. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, I thank you very much.
No question that's a shortcut. However, there's also no question in my mind that that's going to be off-road, and we can't actually take it. Again, without a mushroom. Okay, apart from that, like, one evil turn right at the top of a hill that's really sharp that you need to look at the minimap for, this is a great level. Like, this is honestly one of the best Daisy Fiends levels. Part of me really, really wants to just bust through that door. Part of me also, also thinking it's going to be like a crate. Where, like, if you hit it with a mushroom, you'll just go right through. But if you hit it when you're not using a mushroom, then tough luck. Oh, hang on. Okay, no, it tells you to turn before you go up. Okay, never mind. That's actually fair. Never mind. This course is actually just extremely well made. Ignore all of my criticisms. If, if it tells you to do the turn, then that's completely all right. That, if, if you didn't turn, that's your fault for lack of attention to detail. Never mind. Whoever made this course, you did an amazing job. This is really fun. It's fair. And from the looks of it, there's a couple of shortcuts in here. And th man, that's just the perfect recipe for a great course. Great track, great scenery, great shortcuts. Those are kind of the three pillars of a great racing course and I think this nailed all of them so yeah very well done that's actually a fantastic course <laughs> if only the official daisy courses could be that good the only official daisy course that I think is actually kind of okay is daisy cruiser and even then it's like it's fine <laughs> but it's not like great all right next we've got alpine peak this looks pretty similar to northern peak which was our first course but wow okay I'm excited I'm excited this one looks like it's going to be pretty epic. Oh, actually, someone commented that one of the earlier tracks where it was like a ski resort, and they're like, I didn't really like it because that's supposed to be like a worse version of like a different track. This might be the track that it kind of ripped off. If so, wow. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm playing Mount Wario all of a sudden. Bleh. Don't want to be in the way my laser goes off. <laughs> Or DK Summit again. Oh my gosh! No ski resort is like this! <laughs> Those trees were sideways. Oh wow. Okay, this is pretty awesome! Whee oh man, this, this is amazing. Okay, this circuit is awesome. I love the Starbit Cup. Oh no, 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 please don't. No! Oh, if I don't if, if only the pal block had triggered like a half a second later, I would have been in the air and in the clear. Donkey Kong. This is not Donkey Kong cut. It's also not dry bones cut the cart, I admit, but Oh ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Okay, now we're going for the ski village. I like this. I like I like it a lot. My gosh, I feel like I'm going to have to open up all of these courses in time trial. Because there's so much stuff to this level that I think I'm missing. Yoink! Oh, this is fantastic. I'm still not completely sold on the sideways part, but okay, that was a jump. Hi, penguins. You guys having fun in the snow? Yeah, this part where we're going sideways, I, I'm, I'm not really sold on this part. But the rest of the track, oh, how in the world did the physics work to make me hit that? How? Oh, 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 and what would you like for Christmas, little dry bones? I'd like to win the first place trophy. Then put in the effort. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Okay. Walls? What walls? Oh no, guys! Come on, that was that was all planned. So now I don't get hit by the blue shell. What the? I have never seen a blue shell do that in all of my life. Never in all of my life have I seen a blue shell pass the first place and then be like, "Wait, I missed the first place." And be like, "Ha ha." Please don't hit me. No, I almost dodged it. <laughs> Oh, Daisy, you're getting shrunk twice. I 
Ouch. It's nice to see that the trees are just as wonky as they are in Mount Wario. Ha bunk! Hi, Toad. Move it, Toad. I'm get grabbing the mushroom. I'm apparently not grabbing the mushroom. All right, Toad. You know, I, I tried to be diplomatic about this. But it seems that you really want to get hit by a red shell. Okay. There's a piece of track down there. I see that piece of track down there. I wonder if it's a shortcut. Yay! I finally didn't fall in that cave. It's a Christmas miracle. It's pretty cool because Christmas was months ago. <laughs> Santa's still got some more miracles up his sleeve. All right, this is a pretty fantastic course. Very impressed. There's a lot here, but it, it fits together well. It flows well. And it's just a very enjoyable course to play. Ah ha 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 ha! That was like the Spider-Man meme, but with red shells. Cool, well. As far perfect to score, we just have one race left. If we win first here, we won first on every course today even if we shouldn't have on a couple of them. Celestial Ruins, wow, that is a levitating piece of track, really high up off the ground, with waterfalls. Okay, all right. Wait a second, this looks very familiar to one of the first CTGP courses we played, with like the Sky Temple Ruins, with like Spyro or whatever flying around. Similar minimap as well, okay. Maybe this is a sequel, or a prequel. Donkey Kong? Get out of my way, you fat ape. Waluigi. I respect you, Waluigi, but... I don't want to see you trying to push dry bones off a cliff. Drink! I'm glad they didn't knock me off a cliff. They very well could have. Not a lot of straightaways on this level, so it's going to be hard to t take advantage of my wheelies. Especially when there are all these other racers around where they're like, You're wheeling? I'm going to run you off of the road. Now we get the helix. Aha! I tricked the red shell into flying off a cliff. If only you could do that in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> All right. Apparently that was bouncy. I'll take it. Oh, that's interesting. So the the finish line that you start on is like on the ceiling, but you don't actually reach the ceiling on subsequent laps. Okay. This is a pretty cool course. Man, we've had some great courses today. And Murder Mystery Mansion, or whatever that was called. I'm still not sold on that course, but... The rest of them have all been pretty excellent. Oh no, I expertly weave between the power-ups. Oh. Curses! Oh great, Donkey Kong and his big fat eight buttons in first place. Not for long though. Okay, wasn't able to trick it off a cliff that time. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's gonna give me some very nice defense. Yeah, you're gonna need a little more than that, I think. This course looks pretty cool. Maybe not the most exciting in terms of a track, but that's fine. Not every track needs to be like, oh, this is a legendary revolutionary track. That blows everything else out. Like, it doesn't need to be like that. We can just have fun, simple tracks. <laughs> kind of what I always say. If you're going to make something, like, simple and easy and not that stressful, make it look really good. I had that strategy of making Lemmings levels, and I have that strategy and mentality for Mario Kart courses as well! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks like we were falling onto the easier version of this track that we played earlier. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. How many red shells are people going to get? I'm not wheeling, because I'm pretty sure they would run me off the road if I did. Alright, Toad. 
You picked the wrong day. How did Toad not hit my banana peel? It's okay. Toad's taking suboptimal parts of the track. Boin? <laughs> it's kind of weird. I was like, hey, look, it's a jade piece of stone. It's like, cool, we bounce off of it. Hooray! All right, that was an awesome cup. I'm going to remember the Starbit Cup for the future because all of those tracks were banners. All right, 60 points for the count. Oh, poor Mario. One last every race. I feel bad for you, buddy. It's okay, Mario. We'll redeem you next video. We will be playing as Mario next video to kind of finish off the this section of CTGP. First place, we get an A rank because you raced all right. All right, we're heading back to Christmas Court because there was a couple of places here where I'm like, there is probably a shortcut here. Like right here. So there's a piece of snow there, but if we boost through it, there is a little shortcut. There's also a couple of other spots of the track that I want to check out. Man, I am not used to inside drift anymore. Oh, apparently you can just trick over that. That's pretty cool. All right. Apparently if you go in the penguin pool, that counts as falling off. Okay, I think there's something crazy you can do here. So if we drop off here, trick off here, Oh, okay. So it wasn't quite able to pan out, but that's alright. That's alright. Okay, anything in that pool area, it counts as falling off. Alright. Of course, the count has to go back to Big Nature City, because there is a lot here we probably did not explore. Shortcut, ah ha ha! Shortcut here as well, wow! Interesting, alright. Apparently Funky Kong knew about that as well. Which makes sense, he is the staff ghost after all. Aha! Another way through here. Oh my gosh, they're all those amiibos? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Also, those were Wii U amiibos. Wait, hang on, there's a whole lot to this traffic section, isn't there? First off, if we go backwards... Okay, if you go backwards, that happens. Funky's like, where are you? So if Funky Kong gets far enough ahead... Oh wait, it is transitioning to night without... Then what's the point of putting us through cyberspace? Whoever made this level must have just been the biggest fan of Cyber Chase on PBS. Just like, oh my gosh, I know we're making Big Nature City. But hear me out. What if we went to cyberspace and stopped the hacker from stealing the encryptor chip? That way we can save Mubble. Uh, is there anything in the pool? Or is it just a big square for no reason? No, it's a big square for no reason. Okay. I can work with that. So then my only complaint, why did you put us through cyberspace on this level? It doesn't even make sense anymore. Oh. Count's face of DK's lips was cursed. Anyways, we're here in the Northern Heights. Apparently, Staff Ghost is Donkey Kong in the Jet Setter, which is a bold combination. Doing pretty well so far, so can we boost to get over here? I bet there's potential for that. Okay, this time we'll try boosting a little farther to the left. Darn it! That is a wasted opportunity to not have that as a shortcut, if you have a boost. I bet that works in 200cc. 
Okay, can we take a shortcut through here? Aha! We can! I was wondering about that, but I didn't want to risk it. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. Looking at the mini-map, there seems like there's potential for a gigantic shortcut. It's just barely visible. Okay, hang on. This requires more investigation, because I see on the mini-map, it's very hard to see. It's very faint, but there is a little... See? There's like a tiny grayed-out path. I want to see what that's all about. Pretty sure Jet Setter Bowser uses a mushroom there. Jet Setter Bowser, that is clearly Donkey Kong. Okay. So what do we do? So we go up here, make a U-turn. Is it through the statue? It's not through the statue. Is it, is it through this statue? It looks like it's through that statue, past it. I'm not crazy. There is a special pathway here. Why is it grayed out, though? Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I am, I'm gonna try to get this. Because this is This is a crazy shortcut. I probably would never have found it if it weren't on the mini-map. Okay. So, go through here. I swear I used a boost. Oh, that's crazy. Hang on. I'm gonna try it one more time, actually use the boost. If I can't get it this time, then maybe it's a 200cc specific shortcut. Okay, well... Let me see if I can reach the part where the shortcut ends and where it lines up. Over here, so it's... That's so bizarre. I don't know how you're supposed to take that shortcut, but it is there, so... Probably possible, but I can't figure it out. This is the one I was really looking forward to. Daisy Palace, or Daisy Castle, or whatever. I think it's Daisy Palace. Alright, so I'm thinking there's probably... At least two main shortcuts. So the first thing we're gonna do. Oh, what? That's not a shortcut? That's such a waste, though. Wait, but then how do you get on this side? Can you go for the fireplace? No, fireplace shortcut. What? Oh, come on. That's such a. There's even a door on this side. Okay, there's a way to open that. Maybe you need a... Oh! Maybe they finally put in a shortcut in the game where you need a green shell in order to break it down. I've been telling... I've been saying that Nintendo needs to make Mario Kart shortcuts like that for years. Do the LEGO Racers style thing. You have a power-up, you blast it into the shortcut entrance. Boom. Okay. So another shortcut after the U-turn. Right here. Very nice. Okay. Well then, this shortcut is going to need some more investigation. Alright guys, just for you. What the heck? I said no CPUs! I was trying to get a no CPU match of two players so I could force out specific power-ups to try and take this shortcut, but apparently that's not going to work. Okay, red shells. Let's see if shells work to destroy this. Something can destroy this shortcut. It's either going to be shells. Aha! So now the question is, does that, uh, does that respawn on future laps? So for example, if we now start controlling Standio. Oh, it's been a while since I've used tilt controls. Oh, man. So, back when Mario Kart Wii was first out, I only used tilt controls. So, is this going to... Oh, my gosh. The hole is still there. Wait. So, you don't need a shell. 
but I literally boosted into the center of it. So, okay, that's apparently an invisible wall. Okay, uh... What if I want to see the portraits of the Mies back here? You can't. There's an invisible wall. Okay, well, um... Well, that was a feign. That was a failure of an experiment. So, hang on. Does this mean that you can take the shortcut with a mushroom? I swear I boosted dead center in the mush and it didn't work. This, this calls for... Oh, perfect. That's exactly the power-up I wanted to see. So, as count, I'm gonna... Count... I swear, I'm gonna have to look back at the footage. I swear, I boosted directly into the center of that on the time trial and it didn't open up. For a second there, I thought they genuinely had put in something that you needed a shell to destroy. Which, I think that would be cool. Put in shortcuts that require offensive power. Okay. You're aiming for the dead center. Okay, you can use it with the boost. I guess it was just very finicky on the hitbox. All right, that's a really cool shortcut. And last but not least, time for the Alpine Peak. At the very least, there's a couple of places here that I want to check out. <sighs> I don't know why. It feels like my car is... My vehicle is magnetically attracted to trees. It's a little bit annoying. Look at that! Like, I was driving straight and then Count just was like, I'm going to make a beeline for the tree! Uh, uh, uh. There is definitely another piece of track. No! No! I did not want to fall off and lose my freaking mushrooms! Okay. What if... Oh wait, hang on. That's, a pe that's literally the piece of track we're going up to. Oh. So there's a kill plane before- oh, never mind. I thought that was a shortcut. It's not a shortcut. Okay. Next. So when we reach this part, or not this part, per se, but this up here. If we make a beeline to the left, can we- oh, okay. Free of course, we need the mushroom, and- alright. Alright, here we go. Is this actually going to be a shortcut, though? After all that, I don't think that was even a shortcut. I think it's just there to look fancy. Oh man, I'm seven seconds behind. Alright, well, that's all the time we have for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Really good tracks today. I thoroughly enjoyed pretty much all of those. And yeah, had a blast. So, look forward to next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.